The last day of the 2010 Tennessee State Fair started with record-breaking numbers. And no, it was not a 956-pound pumpkin or a 264-pound watermelon. It was Saturday's record fair attendance of 61,183 people. People still want to come. People still want to see livestock for a day. Sunday, fairgoers took in the Midway, Lumberjack shows, and of course, food. But the future of the fair is still in question. Nashville's mayor already has plans to build a $2 million park on part of the fairgrounds, leaving the 2011 state fair homeless. Rachel Hensley's weaving has been a part of the fair for more than four years. I certainly hope I go with the fair. I mean, I still, I enjoy the fair because it's a wide range of people. People like Lori Jamison, she's come to the fair for 10 years. Disappointed, but I understand, you know, the city's got to do what it's got to do. So, like I said, we'll go where the show goes. When I was younger, I came to the fair quite often. Joyce Battle brought her five-year-old twins to the fair because they had never been to the fair at the fairgrounds. I think that the fairgrounds being what it is, fairgrounds, it seems like that it would be here and it it's able to incorporate all the elements. And they're committed to seeing the fair through for future generations. So that part is in place. Christy Fortner tells News 2 board members want to keep the fair in Davidson County so it won't impact existing fairs in other counties. But where in Davidson County? That's the question.